Okay, gentlemen, um, here's the setup on the lathe. I'm currently um, going to produce a couple of um, standoffs for this mower I've been playing around with, the famous mower with no drive. Um, my Myford lathe is set up, uh, just turn on the oil drips. All I've done, I've got a piece of um, gas steel, turned it down to an OD that fits, and I've gone in now with a couple of drills, uh, slowly but surely, increasing the um, the id and i'm going in now with a very final drill and that's going to be at 13.5 i've set the lathe at the lowest speed and i'm just about to bring in the uh, the drill bit now it's a what they call blacksmith drill bit pretty strong thing make sure that the uh, courage is way out of the way um always check as i always do that the uh, chuck key is not fitted it's so important bit of um lubrication and then we're going to see if we can um, start the bore make sure everything's turned on here which it is uh, just check and double check and I always double check and check again everything seems right let's see what happens right so I'm about to go in now with a very large drill hopefully this will um, do the business it's very sharp and as you can see that leaving edge is taken off. That's certainly making the lathe work. Plenty of lubrication. Slowly, slowly cutting off it. Going into the drill is actually biting properly. A bit more lubrication. Come out, but not really hard just to do slowly, slowly. Go back in again. This really is for you, Ken, to see the lathe working, what's possible on it. And this is obviously very basic stuff. Just turning spacers. So an ID, I believe it's 25, no, 27.5. The OD of, 20, of uh, where are we, 16.5. And I'm just going in a nice and steady now, nothing's getting too hot. Maybe I'll we'll have to um, fill up my um, uh, thing. I'm actually using, well, nothing in there, funny enough. Let's um, just stop a minute and get myself some more. There we go. Get myself some more lubricant. Never ever leave a lathe running. Walk away with it, get some more lubricant, bear with me. Okay, off we go again. Here we go. It's a bit more lubricant on. I use WD-40, rightly or wrongly, but it seems to do the trick. And of course, it's nice and easy to use with a spray. We're producing a good, good cut. Clear the hole again. And we go again. Let me know what you think about this, Ken. Do you think I'm doing a good or a bad job? Whichever, I don't mind. The biggest issue, obviously, but it is as far as I'm concerned anyway, is safety. You hear these awful stories, and in fact, I actually hurt myself today. I walked into the lathe edge and managed to take off about 16 inches of, of skin. The young said he fought for not watching where I'm going. I hope this is all recording nicely. Clear the hole again. Brand new drill bit, as you can see, it cuts really, really nicely. Really pleased with it, getting a bit warm. See the colour of the swarf come off, it starts to change colour. Come again. Now I'm looking to make two T 
10mm insert so I'll need to um, measure in a moment just to see how far we've got pretty certain we're, we're nowhere near it yet but um, we will just pull the drill back now stop the lathe pull the drill back <coughs> and let's get a uh, measurement taken Now obviously I want two 10mm spacers but I'll need to allow for the cut for the cutoff tool. So let's just see what we've got at the moment. And it's 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 not a rocket engine. At the moment I've got 26mm depth hole, which is probably probably enough, but I'm gonna go in a bit further just to make doubly sure because I'm you know, measure once, cut twice, and all the rest of it. I know that's back to front. I know. Here we go again. Leave the drill in. Lock it off. Here we go. So you can see again. Good cuts. Now I, I can actually afford to go in quite a way because um, the workpiece is actually um, chucked in quite a long way. In fact, it's chucked in as far as it'll go. So I'm not bothering about bottling them out the drill bit, but I'm always bothered about doing the job slowly. Now I'd never make a machinist because I bugger around too much and. Uh, frankly ain't got the skills but there we go now I think possibly we were okay there now I'm gonna pull away from there now and I'm gonna measure again and just see where we are remember I said I wanted 10 mils times two so cut off to come That's 26.59. Yeah, a bit more. I'm, not, I'm not gonna um I'm gonna get me money's worth if nothing else. Sorry the uh, audio is a bit slow, but I'm actually concentrating on what I'm doing here. And, uh, anyway, apart from that, you, know, you can see what I'm doing here. Never get your hands in there. I mean, they, I see people using a brush to clear the work, like so. Always worried me to get caught up in it, but people do. And they're far cleverer at this job than I am. So, who's right and who's wrong? Now we're uh, well in there now. We're well in there. See how the tines get clogged. Alright, here we go. Watching that swarfer don't spin around and get me. I've got eyeglasses on. Now that to me I've actually bottomed out now. I can feel myself bottomed out. So that's as far as I want to go. Went to the bottom of the pilot hole. Lock off, shut down. Let's have a look. GoPro, stop recording. 